Hello and welcome back to Open Avals for the Burgundian Conquest. So, we're pretty much just colonizing right now. We have nothing that we can do. We're trying to save up our money, which means that we can't really go to war. We're trying to save up our points, which means we can't really do very much. We do have, our, have a lot of merchants now. Our merchants are doing a lot of good work and we're starting to actually get a reasonable income coming in. So we might actually be able to pay off some loans. Fantastic stuff. Just uh, a little too late. It's costing us about an extra, you know, 400 or 500 du uh, ducats to actually do anything. But, you know, that's fine. Who needs money? Money's just uh, a concept, you know? A concept that allows you to buy troops and arm and sustain armies. But, yeah. You know, anyway, we'll, we'll pay this uh, extra 27 ducats. Uh, Austria got a claim on us. Yeah, okay, fine. How much money we're we making now? Probably a little bit more because we're not paying interest on that loan, but not a lot more. We'll recall our diplomat. Everybody seems to like us, which is very nice. Brandenburg, you want to like us some more? Definitely, they are on the want to like us some more train. Kliev's accepted peace with Trier. Okay. A full annexation. Perfect. Uh, hopefully there's an, a giant coalition against them and they lose all their land. That would be fantastic. Ottoman's truce has ended. We gained uh, a Casus Belli on Trier. Native Uprising. Which is gone now. We lost 30 men that time. They're getting stronger. Brittany entered into a military alliance with Great Britain. We lost the trade protection Casus Belli against Sweden. And then we gained it again. Siege of Leonis is over. Oh, of course. Genoa, in their great wisdom, decided they would come and siege us. Instead of trying to fight the Commonwealth, they try and siege us. Great. Fantastic. And we will recall a diplomat. Like, it's just Genoa. Also, how did you declare war on just Genoa? Wait, they're not part of the Empire? Have they always not been part of the Empire? Maybe they lost all of their Empire provinces and that's... Yeah, they probably lost all the Empire provinces and now they're not part of the Empire. I did not know that was the way things worked. Hmm, interesting. Oh well, um, I guess we'll just kind of wait. Do you know what can take her land if they want to take her land? It's a bit annoying, but it doesn't really do very much. I should work if they had any allies, just watching what um, like Commonwealth are doing, but I'm not entirely sure what they're doing. Great Britain an annexed Scotland again, because England did it. Then took over some land and then annexed them. Well, they didn't annex them the first time. They just took a lot of land. Oh, yes. We should send our colonist over to this province. Right, send them over and then you can head down. Everything's absolutely fine there. Lost Cassis Belly. We lost our main holding. We are fighting some rebels, some natives who we killed. It cost us 61 men this time. Uh, Utrecht, sure, you can have military access. Uh, Mythics will grant independence to Zapox and some other things. Cool. Portugal joined the Protestant League. Okay. Uh, we have enough... Wait, do we not have enough army maintenance for them to move? Maybe just a little bit more. We'll lose about a duck at a month to do that. Yeah, we'll put it back down again. Oh, we're now losing actual money. Oh, because we lost Paris. Yes, of course. Fantastic. Yeah, it's because I have no forts turned on, but forts cost more money than we're losing, so... It's just what we're going to have to do. Commonwealth are making their way over. Uh, they're sieging random bits of Frankfurt. That's um, interesting. Are they in another war as well? I get the feeling they're in another war as well. Uh, they're also in the war of Bohemia, Austria, Frankfurt, Nuremberg, and Papal State. I see, so this Genoan war is not really their biggest priority in the world. Okay, prestige or admin points? Prestige. We'll lose that. We'll keep the admin points. Yeah, I quite like admin points, they're pretty useful. Uh, military leader is dead, Sebastian is dead, let's get a new one. Uh, expand colonial territory is gone, alright. Um, our new one's alright, we don't really need any... Um, Generals. Uh, okay, we're not surprised to learn France has honored our military alliance. We're not surprised to learn New Burgundy has honored our military alliance. Canada honored. Riga have honored the military alliance. Verdun honored the military alliance. Oh, the League War started. 
Ah. Fantastic. Sweden declared war on Austria. Well done, Sweden. Well done. This also means, I would like to add, that the Commonwealth are not in our league. They are specific, they are one of our strongest members, and Sweden has declared a war which they cannot join. Wait, this is the wrong side. Which they cannot join. So, do you want to know who we're at war with? We're at war with a good number of people. We're at war with Austria, Argentina, Bohemia, Brittany, Denmark, Ferrara, Frankfurt, Great Britain, Livonian Order, Muscovy, Nuremberg, Riga, Spain, and Spanish Brazil against Sweden, Ansbach, Brandenburg, Burgundy, Canada, Carabaris, East Frisia, France, Gallery, Hamburg, Hesse, Lorraine, Lübeck, Mainz, New Burgundy, Ottomans, Portugal, Portuguese, Colombia, Sicily, and Thuringia and Utrecht. We have almost 200,000 men, they have about 70,000 less. They're just, in every way they have less men. However, however, their men are a little bit more centered. If we go to full size map and then turn it into diplomatic, this is pretty much what we're looking at here. This is the First World War. And um, we have like a huge, huge alliance here with the, actually Commonwealth aren't here. Ignore the Commonwealth. Um, so we have Sweden, Muscovy and the Ottomans. The, like Sweden are probably going to be occupied with Muscovy. That's my guess. The Ottomans are probably going to take out Spain. Or at least neutralize them. That's what they did in the last war. So that's what they're probably going to continue to do. That leaves this little bit in here to take on everybody else. Now I actually think that the people in the HRE are more than capable of taking out Bohemia and Austria. I think that we are not quite capable of taking out Great Britain, although we've already done half the job of actually getting across there. We are going to have to participate in this fight. Um, but apart from that, we're, we're kind of alright. There is almost the option that we could maybe go really hard, get some... Like, get a couple of merchant ships or a couple of transport ships and really try and get down and find uh, colonies and just grab them. Like, the moment that they, Spain tries to create a colony, grab it. Say, this colony is ours. Um, like, I can't see if they're colonizing anything. Like, down here are they colonizing? Not really. Down here? Nope. Are Spain colonizing? There, there we go, this colony. If we were to, say, head all the way down here and sit on it, we could just claim the colony. And we don't even have to get it, like, through war. So that could be cool. Anyway, we're, we're on the wrong side of the uh, British uh, area here. We should really put in a leader. Let's go for Ran... To Egmont. Do we have all of our forts raised? We do. We probably should at this point have our forts raised. No, uh, trade protection against Portugal. England or, or Great Britain are happily staying in uh, London here. Which I'm okay to let them stay in London. I'm also okay to keep this game at speed 5 until I see an army actually threaten us. We did already retreat from Europe so we're pretty much set. Trade efficiency. Yeah, we'll have some more trade efficiency. I like money, and we're gonna get so we're gonna keep getting some. France are desieging all of the people who have seized down our provinces, which is nice. We'll have forts raised there. Got Paris back, which gives us a lot of money. It's like two ducats just from Paris. Oh, okay, Commonwealth. You want to desiege some stuff on the way past? Nope, they're gone. They are, of course, in their own war against Austria, which is interesting because. It's a different war, which means they could peace out and then be instantly called into the League War. Although they have a truce. Hmm. Oh, at least we're not in the Genoan War anymore. We got our land back. Due to our invaluable assistance in their wars, Commonwealth now owes us 40 favours, which we'll make good of use of. 40 favours? What did we do? Um, like, we got 5.6 prestige. I guess... France must have gone and seized down Genoa or something? Or maybe it's because France actually beat the Genoan army. They did the most actual work. I don't know. Like they got us the most war score. Now, with our favours, I actually have an interesting idea. Instead of using them to call them into any wars, we're actually going to use it to just bump our trust up. It only makes our trust go up by five. For Wait. If it ten favours, make the trust go up by five. Hmm. We can't get them to eighty. 
Like, 80 is the magic number. We can only get them to 66. Um, okay, I don't want to do that then. We'll just let it go. We'll let it go for just now. Right, colonists are on their way. We have people working hard at making colonies. Everything's going fine. And uh, natives have risen up. And they are now dead. Because we actually have raised men. And they have nothing. Um, oh. And their vassals sitting on top of it as well. Great. Fantastic. Everything's going well there. Uh, we've improved relations with Brandenburg. It's now 100. We'll work all the diplomat. And we've lost some monetary benefits. Let's see, who do we want to improve relations with now? Let's improve relations with... We're pretty much at max relations with any, everyone who we need to be. Let's keep our relations for just now. We have a lot of claims as well. We're like, we have a few claims just around the place. So we might actually get some land out of this if our side wins. Which there is actually a high chance they might because Austria are really really doing a bad job of being a leader. Aha! We got a new colony that gives us some prestige and let's let's go for to um, let's go to Manhattan next. We'll get that look we'll get that local trade estuary. Cool and then we'll start to circle around uh, this other country here until there's nothing left of them. Okay we gained some uh, you know Cassis Belly which is fine. We're all set there. I also like giving uh, New Burgundy a lot of actual uh, land because that allows us to get um, like new merchants if they have enough cities. Which we actually have enough if we finish this one. And then the new merchant can be used to get even more money. It's all fantastic and great. An advisor died. Our theologian is dead. We need a new person. Who are we going to go for? Missionary strength? Really? Uh, how much? Because there's 20 ducats to fire. I guess we'll just not have the extra points right now. That's a bit unfortunate, but I don't want to pay for missionary strength when we're trying to pay off our loans. It doesn't make sense. Okay, colonists are still working. Like, I think the colonists are still worth paying for because they will eventually pay for themselves in time. And if they'll pay for themselves more if they're around for longer. So, like the people who are there. So we just need to kind of bite the bullet with that. Yeah, I'm interested to see what happens when... That's not what I was looking at. Alright, Trier joined the military alliance with all that. I'm interested to see what happens when the Commonwealth peace out with Austria. Because they probably will at some point. Ah, uh, they're actually at War of Bohemia. So maybe they won't. Just yet. They do have a lot of uh, sieges going on in Bohemia though. Which is pretty good for them. Bohemia aren't in the war either, are they? In the league, though they are in the league war, they got dragged in, but the Commonwealth didn't. That's great. And they got dragged in as an ally of Austria. Wait, no, they got dragged in as part of the league war. Cool. Oh no, that just says we can't negotiate a separate peace. Not that nobody can negotiate a separate peace. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, our bank loan. We can repay it. Fantastic. How many loans do we have now? Oh, we only have four loans. Yeah, it costs an extra 10 ducats every time we say no, but we only have 10 of them. It's fine. Uh, ignore their suffering or lose 40 ducats. We'll lose 40 ducats and that also increases our speed of stuff. We're going to take care of another loan. I just saw that happening. Loan time. Yeah, fantastic. Love it. Alright. Yeah, so col the colonies are still working away. Uh, hostile sieges, don't really need to worry about them. The Ottomans have a lot of troops in our land, which is very nice. Uh, Platinet has honoured the military alliance with Austria. Mm, that's not so good for us. Salzburg honoured the military alliance, so getting a lot of the smaller nations in, and they may, might not seem important, but they do provide a fair number of troops. Yeah, they still have half our troops now. We actually only lost 6,000, and they've lost a significant amount more. Uh, I'm kind of worried about this situation. I'm happy to sit here and do nothing, because we have a better leader. I think our army might just die. Uh, Diplotech cost, administrative tech cost, or... We'll take the... Admin tech, I guess? That's the one we're most likely to actually get in the next 10 years. 
Advancement of the merchant class. The Burgoyes get some influence. Okay. You don't want to attack me, Great Britain. I think you're sensible. You know that we're just sitting here. We're happy here. You don't need to attack us. We've been friends for years. Uh, you've had, you have our land. We have your land. We're just gonna share it. Where are you off to? They take, they have forty thousand troops and they ran away. This is fantastic. Aha, uh -huh, admin tech. I told you we were gonna get it for cheaper. It gets us uh, forced march as well. Make people go around a little bit quicker. Great, great, great. Right, uh, anything else we need to be doing? Not really. We can kind of watch this war go on its way. British Mexico have honoured their alliance. Okay, cool. That must have just come into existence as a country. Uh, looks like uh, the Ottomans are doing a very good job of sieging over here and giving the land to Sweden. Yes, they, they, they're doing a fantastic job. Uh, we, we, we won the Battle of Connaught. Wait, what? Um... They attacked us with 41,000 troops, and they lost. Excuse me? How did that even... I am too tired to work that one out. I mean, we lost more troops, but they quite significantly lost in terms of coming out worse. Yeah, okay. Also gives us participation in the war. I guess, go us. 5% participation score for uh, not watching us and getting attacked. Well, I am... Um, uh, yeah, I'm starting to lose my voice, so I think this might be a good point to end the episode. Thank you for watching. Next time, hopefully we don't die. Maybe we get land. We continue colonizing. All that good stuff. See you then.